Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton is right below here. And today we want to talk to you about our favorite dog carrier. channel welcome my name is Mai this is Herky down there is Milton we do dog lifestyle videos vlogs and we are your go-to source for anything at Cavalier and we've talked about traveling before we have a whole travel series so if you're new feel free to watch our travel series today I wanted to talk about our favorite pet carrier we've talked about pet carriers before but I thought this would just be like a shorter concise video that people can go to all the time for our favorite pet carrier and this is seriously my go-to because of several reasons that I will talk to you about today. We are probably heading back to California in the month of August so every time we're about to travel and about to get ready to leave again I always think of new travel videos that I can upload for you guys. I'm sure I'm not the only one that wants to travel with their dog this summer so this video is for you. As you may or may not know emotional support animals are no longer permitted on flights you can either travel with your dog as pet and cabin or as pet and cargo or as service dog so emotional support animals are no longer allowed on flights but you do have several options still the rules will depend on the airline that you choose and also depending on the destination where you're taking your dog so make sure you check the airline requirements and the country where you're visiting's requirements for us we always do canada to the united states so the rules for us are fairly simple all you need is your rabies vaccination up to date for the dogs and you need to be able to fit the dog in the carrier the carrier under the seat in preparation for flight so this will come as no surprise for you but our favorite dog carrier is the Sherpa Large. In our last video, I did mention that Herky flies in the Sherpa Large and Milton flies in the Sleepy Pod Air. But in the meantime, we did purchase Milton her own Sherpa carrier just because it's so much more practical, it holds better on the shoulders, and this just makes the whole travel experience much better, which is why I wanted to make this video for you detailing why I love this carrier so much. So just to recap, we travel with Air Canada and the requirements for the Pet and Cabins carrier if it's soft-sided is as follows. So they require that the height of the carrier be 10.5, the width is 15.5, and the length is 21.5. They also require that the dog is maximum 22 pounds, including the carrier. Okay, so Milton isn't here. <laughs> she doesn't want to get out. Reason number one that we love this is that it has a spring wire. So this is able to squish under your seat very comfortably without caving on your dog. So this is a bit higher, but you're able to bend the frame of this carrier and comfortably fit it under the seat. Herky is a larger Cavalier, Milton is a smaller Cavalier. They both fit in here very well. And one of the reasons why we wanted to switch to this carrier is that Milton has more room in here. So she's much more comfortable. And this strap is also much more comfortable to hold on the shoulder. So I, I like to hold it like this, so it's a smaller, like it's a, it's a shorter wire, but you can also use the larger shoulder strap, which it doesn't slide as much and it's much more comfortable than the Sleepy Pod Air. Reason number two that we love this carrier so much is that it's so reasonably priced and it's available on Amazon. So if you're short on time and you're on a budget, I mean, everybody's on a budget right now, am I right? This carrier is for you, it's super reasonably priced and we love something that's available on Amazon that's able to get to you fast. Biggest tip I can give you if you're about to travel with your dog is get them used to the carrier as soon as possible. So even if you're traveling in one month, in two months, get the carrier as soon as possible to get your dog comfortable you want them to be comfortable like this like Milton and Herky that every time I bring the carrier out they just want to go right in because it's it's so cozy and comfy uh, I mentioned this before but dogs are den dwelling animals they love small enclosed spaces they shouldn't see this as a punishment they should see this almost like as an oasis like this is their place to relax it's their place to like feel cozy and feel safe and that's what you want to you want them to feel in their carrier so the other reason why we love this is that it's super, it's a super soft carrier and it really allows your dog to have the maximum space. As you can see, it's a full rectangle, so your dog really has the maximum size available in here. But the frame is soft, so you can squeeze it under and it won't cave on your dog that much because there's so much room already for your dog in the carrier. Side note on this carrier and its size and the airline requirement 
that the dog that is in the carrier must be able to stand, turn, and lie down. I just wanted to mention that Herkin and Milton are not able to stand in the carrier. They are able to lie down and turn very comfortably. I know that some stories say that if your dog is not able to stand and turn around in the carrier, you might be turned around at the gate. Which is true, I have heard of some stories of some people being turned away at the gate because their dog was too big for the carrier, They're meaning they are not able to stand and turn in the carrier. But in our experience, every time we've flown with Hurricane Milton, we haven't had any issues. Just be nice to the gate agent and to whoever that you run into. Just try to lay low, it really will depend on whoever you stumble upon. I've known so many dogs that use this carrier and that have flown. Uh, it's really unreasonable for them to think that a dog can stand and turn in this carrier. The only dog that could do that basically is a chihuahua. Like a full, like a dog that's standing that is this size is probably only chihuahuas and maybe some Yorkies, but that's it. I think it's a very strict requirement. Like even if you look at the drawing on the Air Canada website, like it's very unproportional. Like there's no dog that can actually fit in that. So I will just say that Hurricane Milton cannot stand, but they can turn, they can lie down comfortably and just, just be nice to whoever you stumble upon at the airport. And last but not least, this is probably one of the lightest pet carriers on the market. It weighs less than two pounds. So if you want to fly with your dog and you're near the, the weight limit restrictions, you definitely want a carrier that's as light as possible. And that's why we love this carrier. So that's going to be it for our video today. I hope it was helpful for you. Save it, share it if you know anybody that's about to travel or that wants to travel with their dog. I think it's a daunting task. It's definitely doable. Send them our videos. We hope you're all doing well. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye guys.